What's up everybody? Matthew Monas here. The stream has started. And today we got a special laptop, but before I announce it, let's just wait for some people to get in this chat so we can get things going. I just want to say happy Friday, everybody. Where I am, it's raining right now, so it's pretty depressing outside, but I hope it's great wherever you are. I was actually talking to one of my uh, subscribers on the channel who's from India, and he says he had a flood for four days. No power in his village. Okay, he showed me pictures. The entire area was just flooded. Anyways, what's going on, peeps? Tom Tech is in the house. Discord crew's in the house. What's going on, everybody? I hope you're ready for today's unboxing because we're going to unbox something very special. This laptop has been excessively been asked to be in review. That did not make any sense. This laptop has been requested many times by many of you guys, and I finally got my hands on it. This here, my friends, is the MSI gaming laptop. It's a budget pick GF63. It retails for about a thousand bucks. It has some great specs, but the biggest thing about it, or at least that MSI is advertising, is the battery life. Apparently, you can get seven hours of battery life on a laptop like this. And that's with an i7-8750H processor. All right, enough chit chat. Let's open this up. Fusion Harry asks, how is the Nitro 5 spin? It's still working, okay? It was never not gonna work. You guys were expecting the worst from me, but you know what? When I put liquid metal, oh my God, I am the worst. This is the second time in a row that I forgot to introduce Ash. I am the worst host ever. Everyone, make a round of applause for Ash Taylor. You have to say something. Wow, okay, he's, he's actually really pissed. I wish you could see his face right now. He's really angry, but... Um, Can you uh, get rid of the window? Oh, okay, he just spoke. But anyways, he's here, and uh, welcome, Ash. Thank you for Hi. being here. All right, let's open up this laptop savagely. No, we don't want to do it savagely, because uh, that would be good. You're going to be like, oh my god, you opened it savagely. I've ruined the, the heat management of the laptop. What have you done? All right. Relax, Ugh. relax. It's all good. Must get in here. No patience. Let's go. There we go. Come on. We can do this. What is going on? This is ruthless. There we go. Here it is. Woo! Okay, I'm covering the camera. So I'm just going to turn this around. Go backwards for a second here. We have boxes. Stop! We're here to help. Should you have any questions about your gaming notebook, contact contact us. All right, the red dinosaur. Thank you for that little stoppage. Power supply, your typical thing. Where's the brick? Do they actually send me a laptop without a power supply brick? The laptop itself, I'm just gonna put this to the side for a second. Do they on, oh, phew. got scared there for a second. All right, we got MSI instructions. We really don't care about this. I'm gonna throw that to the side. The other portion of the power brick. All right, I'm digging the size of this power brick. It's not that big at all. So this is pretty good to travel with. Like it's not as big as other bricks like on the G7 or on the Acer Predator Helios 300. So totally worth it for traveling. So I'll put that to the side. And now we have the laptop itself. Oh yeah, baby. Here it is. Wow. This thing is light. Four pounds. This bad boy right here is four pounds. This is this is lighter than the Lenovo Y530. This is lighter than the G7. This is lighter than every other laptop that I reviewed in the gaming category in the past few weeks. So the one beautiful thing about this laptop that I noticed right away is it kind of feels high end. So the top is made out of metal. We have brushed aluminum going vertically, MSI logo in the middle. I love the look. It's super clean. Guys, I wish you could like hold this. I really wish you could hold this because it's nice and light. Bottom is obviously plastic. That's generally usually the way things work because metal and heat dissipation don't go hand in hand. So overall, I'm loving, digging the look. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, look at those bezels, baby. Look at those bezels. So we have a little bit of a bezel on the bottom, but again, I'd rather have the bezel on the bottom than on the top. The sides are pretty thin, not Dell XPS 15 thin, but thin overall. Your webcam's on the top, which is great placement. The deck, I think the deck, no, the deck is plastic, but it feels like, it feels like metal. Okay, so, questions, questions. Uh, oh, okay. What's the price? Price, thousand bucks, just under a thousand dollars, nine ninety nine because you're looking fine. That's how much exactly how it costs. 
Core i7 8750H. This unit comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, has a one terabyte hard drive with Intel Optane. So 16 gigabytes of Intel Optane. So that should theoretically give this drive some great speeds comparable to an SSD. And if you want me to explain what Intel Optane is, let me know in the comments. Um, what else? What else do you guys need to know about this thing? Apparently there's seven hours of battery life. You have PCIe Gen 3. I'm not sure if this has USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3. Do you uh, honestly think seven hours is achievable? You know what? I mean, apparently there's a big battery in here. Seven, okay, obviously seven hours is not achievable if you're just gaming. That's not happening. I don't care what gaming laptop it is. But if it's just standard productivity work, then um, yes, it might be achievable. Tommy T, thank you, buddy. Again, please save your money for the backup server that you're planning, okay? But I do appreciate it, you savage Tommy T. Everyone that's Tommy Tech the Savage, give him a what's up. So apparently we have quite a few people from Discord, so if you are from there, please say hi. Yeah, Zmat, he's from Discord, 1,000 US, obviously Zmat. If this is gonna be in Canadian, you're looking at $2,000, your first boy and child, a mortgage, and then you have to trade five sheeps. Okay, first up, explain okay. what Intel Optane is. Okay, so Intel Optane. So basically what Intel Optane does is utilize an old traditional hard drive to speed it up. So basically between the CPU and the hard drive, there is a separate chip. That's the Optane chip. So basically stuff that you use on a regular basis gets stored in the Optane chip in order to speed up the process. So frequent stuff that you do on a regular basis gets stored there, allowing you to have a faster experience. So boot up times, the more it learns how often you boot up your device, it'll start making that boot up sequence faster. So one day it might be 15 seconds, the next day it'll be 13 seconds. And same with specific applications that you use. We're gonna do some speed tests, but we'll have to do it over and over again so that the information gets stored in that chip for us to actually see the difference between a traditional hard drive. So a couple of other things. Let's just quickly go over the port setup here. On the left-hand side, we have your power connector. It's a barrel connector. We have your USB 3.0 port, battery life indicator. We have a full-size HDMI port on the back. And on the right-hand side, you have your audio in for your headphones, your microphone jack, two more USB 3.0 ports, USB Type-C. I don't know if it's Thunderbolt 3. We're gonna find that out soon. RJ45. And over here you have your Kensington lock. So your typical port setup. Not as much as other 15-inch so, laptops, uh, but no more than enough. no Thunderbolt 3. There's no Thunderbolt 3, someone said? No, oh, yeah. Saying. Based on, like, first inspection, it doesn't look like it has Thunderbolt 3. But, um, again. Graphics card? Graphics card. So in this model, you can get it with two different graphics cards. You can get it with a regular GTX 1050. Or, like this model, you can get a G GTX 1050 Ti Max-Q. So not as powerful as the Lenovo Y530, but still better than a standard GTX 1050. So a lot of people are curious about the battery life and the thermal throttling, because um, Fusion Harry mentioned just a while back uh, that he thinks it only has one heat pipe. Okay, we're Is gonna that find that out. You know what, if you guys want, let's see how this looks. You know what, maybe we'll open it up on camera if that's something you guys wanna do. I have no problem opening it up on camera, we can take a look inside. But based on what I'm looking at, I see one heat pipe going across the CPU over here, and there might be another heat pipe going across the GPU. So you might be right. There only, 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 only two heat pipes, one for the CPU, one for the GPU, and that would explain why they went with a Max-Q GPU as well. So people definitely want you to test thermals. Thermals, yeah. obviously. Will this be available in India? Uh, I have no idea. I'm, uh, I have no clue if it'll be available in India. You have to check with your local representatives. Go to the MSI website, type in your, your location, and hopefully they can find it for you. Google is your friend sometimes, people. I know you think I'm a wise man, but I don't know all the answers. People are saying open it up. Let's do it. Let's open this bad boy up. Got the plug here. Need Should we open it? To open it up? We, you want to open it up first? Okay, let's open it up first. Open it up it is. You guys want me to open it up? We're gonna open it up. All right, I got the iFixit kit here. We're gonna break out the tools. We're gonna get this going. In the meantime, hit me up with some questions. I wanna know how your day's going. How's your mom? Is the display 144 hertz? No. Asks Dallas King. It is 60 hertz, unfortunately. But for a lot of people, that should be fine, especially for the price you're paying. Ooh, this is microfiber. All right, uh, let's do this. Vlad says, hi, could you maybe do some Unity or Unreal Engine tests at some point for people who want to buy laptops for game development? You know what? Just for you, buddy, I will. I'm gonna write that down, make a mental note for it, and I'll I'll put it in my review. Maybe even if I don't really speak of it, maybe I'll put some sort of I don't know, some sort of performance. You'll address it. Uh, Fusion Harry says, guys, we should place bets on if it will thermal throttle. 
Well, to be quite honest, to get to thermal throttle in this live stream might be a little bit tough because realistically, you know, I want some time to actually do gameplay on it. By the way, speaking of gameplay, every Sunday at nine o'clock, I, I do a Twitch stream. And this week I'm gonna be streaming from this laptop. So you're gonna be able to see all the frames per second during different games that I play on it. You're gonna experience the heat live so we can see what games cause this to heat up and when and how long it takes to heat up. If you want a more realistic approach in terms of heat management, opposed to like your standard benchmarking tools. So if that's something that interests you, in the description down below, you can find my Twitch channel. Uh, ITS says, which is better for gaming and content creating, uh, this or the Helios 300? Well, to be quite honest, um, I haven't reviewed this yet, so I can't give you a direct answer, but based on specs and performance, you're gonna get a little bit better performance on the Helios 300 just because it has that full-size GTX 1060, but the benefit of getting this instead, at least right now, is the fact that this is four pounds. Four pounds. This is lighter than a Dell XPS 15. This is just weight people, by the way. Yeah, the four state. pounds, which is like, what, two kilograms or 1.8 kilograms? There you go. Um, Aditya says, keyboard deck is metal, bottom is plastic. Thank you, Aditya, for confirming that for me. I appreciate it. Uh, just for those people asking about India, it's available in India for 1500 says Swayam. 1500 bucks, eh? So it's probably gonna be the same price in Canada. I wouldn't be surprised. Factory seal, factory seal no more, baby. You're not going back to the factory. Um, someone asked, does it have a LAN internet? Yes, there's an R, there's an Ethernet port jack on the right the right side. If you scroll back in this video, you can see me going over the ports. All Yo, right, BLR taking this thing off. Just uh, donate some money. Thanks, BLR. I appreciate it. You appreciate it for all your support. Last he week's stream, this week's stream. Asks, what does it take you to get me a? Uh, what does it take to get? My bad. What does it take to get you to send me an avocado like you sent to Knoopsy? Ooh, I don't know. Knoopsy's special. And uh, he loves his avocados. But I will send you, instead of an avocado, I'll send you a signed pair of my jean shorts. How about that? I know you've been asking for those. You don't want those. <laughs> um, so, um, Milo shoots here, maybe. Says, why are 17 inch screens rare? They're not rare. I wouldn't say they're rare. Um, it's just 15 inch screens is like the sweet spot for a lot of people, it's like the more popular category. So most people buy 15 inch laptops over 17, therefore there's more of them produced. But they're not rare, I wouldn't say they're rare. Which one looks better, asks Ashan. Uh, is it the Helios 300 or this one? Oh God, this looks so much better than the Helios 300. The Helios 300 is one of the most ugliest gaming laptops I've laid my eyes on. It's okay, I'm just gonna open this up. I, I apologize if you hear sounds of pain and um, cracking. To those people asking for display stats and calibration, we will let you know. Yeah, um, well, as soon as we get to that point, we will talk yet. about that. But I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna be like your standard 1080p display with 60 something. Mahedi asks, will it give me seven hours of battery life if he codes continuously? A very specific question. What kind of coding do you do? Is it like, are you gonna be compiling as well or just code without compiling? Go. Uh, I'm so afraid to open these laptops. MSI laptops are always so thin. Which so. one is cheaper, this or the Y530? Uh, the Y530 is cheaper, but you also get a slightly slower processor. You get the, the i5 8350, 8300H. KY Tech uh, is getting personal. He says, how, how much money do you make off YouTube? I make about 50 cents a day, and that's enough to buy my family a bag of rice. 50 cents for a bag of rice? That's for a bag cheap. of rice. This is like, I go to like special markets. That's how much I make on YouTube, kids. Uh, Techhead says, can you use an eGPU on this laptop or not? That's what I'm trying to figure out, if it's Thunderbolt 3 or not. When I open it up, we're gonna test it out and see if it has Thunderbolt 3. Is there another screw back here? How will it have a Thunderbolt 3 if it doesn't have a port? There's USB Type-C. Oh, but, there is? Yeah, there is, oh, but I'm not sure if it's a Thunderbolt 3 port or not. Well, it would have a sign next to it, no? Sometimes. Maybe there's a screw on the keyboard. I doubt there would be. That'd be like poor design. Nope. So what gaming oh. laptop do you use nowadays? Um, right now I'm using the Helios 500 for like my stationary gaming laptop if I'm like at the studio or at home. 
That on, was from Tenzin. But on the go, I'm honestly just using a Surface Book, and that's just because I can edit with it. But I think that's going to change soon. I have a couple other laptops here that I haven't uh, shown you guys that might be of interest to you. Uh, Tyrion asks, is the i7... Tyrion Lannister? That's the one. Asks, nice. is the i7 8750H uh, a 6-core 12-thread? i7050H is a 6-core thread. That's correct. Krishna says, is it good for Photoshop? Sorry, guys, one second. Yes, this would be good for Photoshop depending on the color accuracy of the screen. Hold are on. You, are you okay there? Do you want to try doing this? I don't want to break it. Hold on. Hold on. I think this might be disconnected. I got it open. It's just Everyone's I, judging you right now. I know. They're all judging me, those judges. Judges. Judges everywhere. Okay, so I just got to get this bottom back part open. I think it snaps open. I just want to crack it. The next thing you know, you guys are going to never come to this live stream again. Oh, so many questions. Uh, just keep at, just keep shooting questions while I do this. No Thunderbolt three says uh, Aditya. Aditya, um, thank you for doing the research while I do this. I appreciate Ayush it. says, is this full HD or four K display? Full HD. Is this a big difference between a ten fifty Ti and ten sixty? Hold on, guys. Sorry, this is a definitely a big difference between a ten fifty and Ti. Think of the speed between what? What? Think of the speed <laughs> between a ten ten fifty and a ten fifty. Yeah, that's where the ten fifty I. 1050 Ti Max Q falls into place. I almost have the back open, guys. Which do you prefer, the Helios 300 or the HP Omen? I prefer, I prefer the looks of the Helios. Oh, here we go. That's why it's not opening. I prefer the looks of the HP Omen. Ha! Figured it out. This comes off. Or oh, he just broke it. Or oh, I just broke it. Um, no, I didn't. I got it. We're good. Maxwell says, dude, why buy with the 1050 Ti when you can get an Omen 15 with a 1060? I mean, honestly, at this point, all these laptops are pretty much close to each other. Yeah, right? they're pretty much closer. Like, at the end of the day, like, if you're going to buy something with a 1060, you're going to pay an extra 150 to 200 bucks, right? So, like, it depends on your budget. Like, you might be someone who can't afford that extra 150 bucks. So, something like this will be beneficial. You have to remember, too, this is four pounds, people. Four pounds. Pounds. That's weight, by the way. Weight, okay, or 1.8 kilograms. I think that's what it is. So, like, if that's something that is desirable to you, why am I having so much trouble taking this off? Stage fright, people. It is stage fright. Everyone's judging me. Is there another screen here? This is out. This is out. Uh, Noah says, can you run an Adobe Premiere 4K benchmark? Review yes, or? I can. Nope. Crack, crack, crack. Our shattered legacy says, hey. Hey, shattered, what's going on? How's Niagara Falls today? Zenith says, do you post this after you're done? Yes, you do. Yes, I do. This goes straight to the post. Is there um, a screw in here? No. Jin says, is it 60 hertz? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, 60 hertz. Oh, my God. This back piece does not want to come off. Wow. This is this is, this is like the worst. I'm just going to let you deal with it. Okay, just give me some, a second here. Ash is going to answer your questions for one second. There we go. Finally. Hallelujah. Whew. Okay. That was ridiculous. That was terrible. We did it. Let's all have a clap. All right. So what do we got here? Let's see. So we have two heat pipes for the GPU or the CPU and one heat pipe for the GPU. Or it could be the other way around. Which one's which? Yes. Two heat pipes for the CPU. Okay. Tilt it towards you. I don't know if that's probably out of frame. Okay, so that's probably a little better because... So this is the CPU right here. This is the i7-8750H. This does produce a lot of heat, so it has its own two heat pipes. 1050 Ti Max-Q, and that's probably why they went with the 1050 Ti. It doesn't produce as much heat as a regular 1050 Ti. only has one heat pipe. Alpha Reed says hi. Hello, hello. Two slots for RAM, so you can update this to 32 gigabytes. We have your 2.5-inch hard drive. So this is basically, you can be swapped out if you want like a full size SSD and you still have your Intel Optane. Wi-Fi card, which you can swap out. Right here, you can place an M2 SSD. So if you don't like this, you can buy an M2 SSD, place it in here, MVME or regular SD, totally up to you, but you have that option. Battery size. Okay, well, it's not showing us the battery size. We'll have to look at the website for that, but... Tyrion says that HDMI, uh, that heat pipe over the HDMI port. Yes, it is. There is an HDMI port with the heat pipe over it. It's just, just snugged right in there Con quite comfortably. 
So anyways, that's what the inside looks like. So you have a space for another hard drive, two slots for RAM, two heat pipes for the CPU, one heat pipe for the GPU. This is thicker, but I don't know if it's gonna make that much of a difference. Again, we're, we're gonna put this through thermal, so. Fusion says. That's basically it. Uh, how are you, Fusion? Two Fusion speakers. Has, he says, I'm concerned with about the 1050 only using one heat pipe. Well, it's a 1050 Ti, in all fairness. So that might be the make reason. Make it worse, no? No, Ti has lower thermals, right? Because it's a Ti. They put Max Q is basically a GPU that uses less power draw than like a regular 1050 Ti. This is a Max Q? This is a Max Q. So right. that's the big difference there. So let's put this back on. I'm not going to do the screws because that'll take me 10 years based on me opening up this. Uh, Surya says, is there an SSD? Yes, you have a, you can buy, there's a model you can buy with an SSD, but if you want to put in your own, there's a space right here for it, or you can swap out the 2.5 inch drive for a regular 2.5 inch SSD. Remember, it, this has Intel Optane, so I wouldn't do that with this one, but if you want like a, a main drive or a second drive, you have that option right here. Uh, FYI people, we're trying to get to all your questions. We've, I mean, he's literally just opened this laptop. So Noah, yes, he will do something relating to Premiere for the main review. Right now, he hasn't even turned the damn thing on. I know. So, so let's turn this on. Where is that piece? Uh, Hamza says, so can we tell from the inside if it's a Thunderbolt? No. No. Right? We need to load it up and see if there's actually Thunderbolt 3 drivers. And Robin like says he likes watermelons. Watermelons are tasty, Rongbin. Rongbin is the winner of that Robin. Dell Precision. No, it's Robin. Oh, Robin? This oh, sorry, is a somebody person. else. Okay. Come on, go back in. People are very disturbed about what you're trying to do to that laptop. I am basically butchering this thing. No, I'm not. I'm not butchering it. There's nothing broken. Everything's good. We're good here, people. Nothing uh, to see here. Carry on. Hikari says, how much was this model? This is $1,000. Okay, let's just leave it like that before I break it anymore. This thing doesn't want to go in. Well. One second, guys. This is the problem when you open up laptops. There's pressure from the camera. So it makes you... Matt has a lot of stage fright. I do have stage fright. I just peed my pants. Um, Rongbin says, yeah, that wasn't him. Oh, uh, sorry, Rongbin. Okay, here we go. It's in, I think. I hope. Uh, what's the difference between the SSD and Fire Cuda, says Syed? Fire Cuda? Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. It's, yeah. it's that, that left to right side. I think you're thinking of Barracuda, that's the name of the Seagate drive. Is that what you're talking about? Maybe. There we go. Um, yeah, Smith says he only uses a laptop for his machine learning tasks. And All right, he needs here we a good go. GPU and CPU. Is this 1050 Ti Max Q a good choice or should you go for a 1060? What were the two programs he uses? Sorry. Machine learning tasks. <sighs> machine learning tasks. But is that, I think machine learning tasks is more. CPU, intens CPU intensive rather than GPU intensive. So if it's more CPU intensive, you're not gonna see a speed difference at all if you were to go with this or a Dell G7 or a Predator Helios 300 because they're both using the same CPU. It just depends which one thermal throttles more and which one allows lower heat management for boosting. Chris asks, do you know what the maximum amount of supported RAM is for this laptop? 32 gigabytes, but it's bought. you can buy it up to with 16. If you want 32, you'll have to place your own in here. All right, let's turn this bad boy on for the uh, billionth time. ZMA HD. ZMAD, just call him ZMAD. Asks, uh, is the webcam potato quality? Wow, that's sounding terrible. Well, I have to put it on properly. I didn't snap it back in, I didn't screw it in. That's why it sounds like this right so now. Swyam says, no, Fire Cuda is Seagate's SSHD brand. Oh. Get it right, dude, honestly. Sorry, I don't know. Terrible. Jeez, you think I know everything? It's your job. I apologize for the crackling noises. I haven't put the screws back in on the bottom of the laptop. I just want to keep this going on, so I'll do that afterwards. All right, but we're firing it up right now. This is as far as back as the monitor goes. So just to give you an idea of the tilt on it. Power button's a little interesting. Kind of like indents in, you have to push it inwards, which is different. Um, more, so, more GPU questions. Abdullah asks, would you recommend the 1050 Ti version over the 1050, even though the difference is $250? Definitely. I mean, honestly, the difference between a 1050 and 1050 Ti is big, and the difference between a 1050 Ti and 1060 is big too. I mean, I always say if you can get a 1060, get a 1060, but if you absolutely can't, try not to go down to 1050, get a 1050 Ti. People Ten still asking about the price. Thousand bucks, thousand bucks, thousand bucks is the price. 
Uh, Shine A Z asks, "Is this an RGB keyboard?" Yes. Uh, I'll answer that soon. We're gonna load it up and find out. I don't think it. It might. I don't think it is. I think it's just red, to be honest. Okay, we have a decent question. Alfie asks, "Is this worth it based on the price to performance specs and looks?" Well, I think it's priced accordingly because this is like right between the seven hundred and fifty dollar range, where it gets you like a ten fifty Ti, but an i five CPU. And it's between the more expensive laptops like the Predator Helios 300 where it nets you that 1060 and an i7. So I think it's priced accordingly. I think this is for the people who, who, who can't afford the more expensive ones and don't want the crappier $750 laptops. This is the laptop you'd probably start looking at. Um, how's the flex on the... Oh, you want to explain some keyboard flex? Yeah, uh, asks Malika. There's a little bit of flex. Ooh, whoa, look at that flex. There's definitely a little bit of keyboard flex, more than I'd like there to be, especially at the top here. It's a little bit Do you soft. Wanna turn, turn the laptop, rotate it. Like this way? No, yeah. So you can show people. No, keep going. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now do it. So you can see some keyboard flex up here, especially. It's very soft. A little more than I'd like, but in all fairness, I don't have the bottom plugged in, so there might be some cushion for the pushing in the meantime, but yeah. Oh. Here's a topical question. Chris says, hey. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the, the keyboard. It's a bit too much flex for my for my liking. Are you familiar with Ligma? Well, that's the whole ninja thing where you got Ligma, which is like do you a have fake it? thing. I do have Ligma. I yeah. do. I do. I do. BLR, um, thank you. Actually, avocados are pretty cheap here. How much to just send me Canoopsie? Ooh. That's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. I would have sent you Canoopsie for free a long time ago. I'll pack him up in a box and have him over to your house by tomorrow. He's uh, he's outside, I think, still in his uh, in his little home that you made him. I did. He has a, he has a house, an avocado house. They're basically just made out of avocado pits. Right. So Captain Apex says, like, what this screen's display? So again, the screen's display. It's full HD, 1920 by 1080. It's Hi IP. There. At Whoa. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. The speakers are pretty loud. A Oops. little sign in here. A touch of Wi-Fi. Cortana. Shh. Captain Apex, uh, this is a 60 hertz screen. That's correct. 60 hertz screen, not 144. If you want 144, you got to jump up to the more expensive models. This is basically, basically, you're buying a laptop that's a slight, like slightly more power than the budget category, but not as strong as the mid tier, which nets you that 1060. Uh, your man Shirzard N says, is it possible to change red color keyboard to white? Swapping We're gonna keyboard find that or out. laser engraving. Yeah, let me finish the question. Oh, sorry. I thought it was the same question again. So yeah, honestly, I've just been, I've just been like typing on this keyboard for like two seconds. It's not the best keyboard at Make all. Make your computer. E Whoa, mm -hmm. calm down there, buddy. Yeah, this keyboard sucks. I'll be honest with you, like it's very mushy. Vlad has a slightly out of context question, but do you also hate the charges that don't have the L-shaped head? Oh, you mean like the barrel connectors like this? I personally, you know what's the best charger right now? Not like out of the gaming laptops that I reviewed was actually the HP Omen. It looked like a Dell XPS 15 charger with a forward facing barrel connector. It was kind of nice. All right, let's hook up this hard drive and start installing things and getting things going here. Kian says, uh, what does the GS and GF stand for? Gaming series. And Ga then? I don't know what the F stands for. Gaming fun? Gaming, should, for uh, gaming foreplay. You should quit. I should quit. Honestly, some of these laptop manufacturers have the worst naming convention series in the world. Like, they're brutal. So Aditya says he can't find any keyboard flex in his unit. He thinks it could be because of the screws. It's that Honestly, Aditya, you have a point. Like, um, I haven't screwed it back in, so there might not be keyboard flex, which I mentioned earlier, but based on what I'm doing right now, it, it feels like there's a lot. But again, I don't have this screwed in, you can hear the snapping. So let, let me reserve my judgment for the full review on the keyboard. I don't want you guys thinking, going off into public saying it's the worst keyboard in the world until I've actually tested it. Janik says uh, on the site, it says 4K at 30 hertz. Are you sure? It's the GF, the GF 8R8 RD, GF 63 8RD, I don't think it has a 4K display. And this is a different model. There's two models, the 8RC and the 8R8 RD. Which is this so, one here. We have a doctor in the house, a Dr. Surab Jagtap. Says, hey, Matt, finally saw you online. I've been following your channel for a while now. And, well, it's amazing. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Uh, besides you, the only person who's given me a compliment recently is my mom. But thank you. I really do appreciate it. 
Your mom hates you. She does hate me. Uh, Syed says, great t-shirt, like always. <laughs> Canada uh, represent. Hikari says, is there a big difference between the i5 and i7 for gaming? Otherwise, you might as well get the cheaper. No, if you're, if you're just strictly gaming and doing nothing else, the i5 is totally fine. You're not going to see a big bump in performance if um, you're going to use the i7. i7 is good if you're doing like more content creation, if you're going to be... Oh, man, do I have this... Even better, using off offline. Off. So the i7 is better if you can do more comp content creation. This is why you should open a laptop before. I know. Me? I think I'm going to do that from going on Matt. Um, our Shattered Legacy says, do you like the design of the GF63 more compared to the GL series? How would you compare it to the GE65 design-wise aside from being plastic? Um, I mean, it's pretty similar style. Like, it looks like all the other MSI laptops in terms of stylage. I mean... It, you're just paying for a cheaper model of it. To be honest, I haven't reviewed um, that many laptops this year from MSI. So Honestly, I'm surprised anyone's still with us. This laptop is taking forever. I know. Oh, my God. This is so annoying. Security question number three. You guys are just knowing all my security passwords here. All so, right. again, uh, more GPU-related questions. 1050 Ti or 1060 Max-Q, which is better? Asks, why Carrigan? 1050, 60, 1060 max Q is better. Think of it between the 1050 Ti and 1060. Uh, Alfie says, how thick are the bezels? They're good. They're actually really good. Here, have a look. So the only thick part of the bezel is on the bottom right here, up the top and surrounding the sides. The bezel is actually pretty good. Uh, rapid, uh, Chris Dude just donated $2. Chris Dude, you're the dude, man. I appreciate it, buddy. He Thank says, you. I like rapid fire monos. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. There's going to be more rapid fire towards the end. I, I know this is a little bit slower today because I'm setting this up. But I think going forward, I'm going to like install everything, sneak it back in the box, put some saran wrap around it. Then I did tell you to do again. that. Just don't ever you listen you, you to You didn't me. say anything about the saran wrap. Uh, you don't need saran wrap. So, um, like so up. let's see. People are saying, how much storage does the laptop have? One terabyte of storage. And you have an extra slot for an M2 SSD. Uh, keys uh, that you were typing on. They're shallow, mushy. What's the deal? Describe them. They are very shallow. That was from Malika. They oh. are, a, I wouldn't say they're mushy. There's some actuation force that feels kind of nice. But so far they feel soft and that's just probably because I don't have it screwed in on the bottom. But they're, they're definitely a shorter travel distance. Also you'll notice there is no uh, numpad or, or numeric keypad. So if you're going to be crunching those numbers, you can't really do that too well with this laptop just so, because it's smaller form factor. Just to add, Aqua says, just what exactly has MSI done with the keyboard on a 15-inch laptop seems pretty cramped up there. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, you're, you're sacrificing a few things by going for a four-pound laptop, you know? Like, you're giving up ports. You're giving up the full-size keyboard. You're giving up certain, a little bit of power for a smaller form factor. Like, me personally, I would rather have this than, let's say, the 1060 to go to school. Because this is small enough that like I can type my notes, and if it does get good battery life, and I can still game on it with a 1050 Ti Max Q, I'm gonna not be able to play everything on like full high resolution, but I can still game on it. So it depends what you want to give up, right? There's always sacrifices you have to make. Um, so Hamza, just to add to that, he says it's still an ugly keyboard anyway. Yeah, no, I, I agree. The keyboard's not that nice. It actually reminds me of the keyboard that used to be on the HP Omen on last year's model. Uh, Outlight says, when is this going to be released? This is, should be a release already. You can buy it already. It's on Amazon. There's a link in the description down below if you want to check it out or buy it. So in the meantime, for those people who are joining me right now, if you want to ask me questions after this live stream, there's a Discord server. It's the hottest Discord server in town. You can ask me questions anytime you want. Also, I'm going to be live streaming with this on Sunday night at 9 p.m. I'm going to hook this up to my computer. The computer is going to live stream. And we're going to see exactly what this laptop can do in terms of gameplay and how much heat management or heat it produces so we can get a good idea if this thing's worth it or not. Yeah, tell him what games you want him to play so, too. Yeah, let me know what games you want to play. Um, right now I have Overwatch, Fortnite. I have CSGO. I have uh, Warframe. What else do we have there? Of course, Witcher 3, the standard stuff. Um, Gears of War 4. You name it, I probably have it. Rocket League, Ash wants Rocket League, right? Yes, I do. Exactly, he wants Rocket League. Okay, finally, we're in. We are in, people. Okay, first things first. Let's get the display calibration going. So based on my first look at this display without <laughs> actually, without actually uh, doing the test, I think the display is going to be very nice. Turn the brightness down. For a 1080p display. 
Where's the brightness on this thing? Oh, here, it's on the, it's on the, that's not it. Oh, oh function keys over here. There we go. A little bit more. All right. Uh, Ankit says, my pretty Helios 300 gets temps up to 95 Celsius. Is this to be concerned? Yes. What does he do? What, now? laptop, Predator? Helios 300. Yeah, if it's a Predator Helios 300, keep your fans on max. Don't rely on cool boost. Turn cool boost off, leave them on max, and you should see your CPU temperatures drop to under just 90. Uh, Mr. Toss just wants you to watch porn on Sunday, so... That's yeah, if that's what you want me to do, if you want to test porn on this laptop, I can do that on Sunday. Great. Now this now this video is going to be demonetized. I hope you're happy. Look what you did. Cress of Honor says play Witcher 3. Uh, Milo says PUBG. Angel says... Yes, oh, PUBG. Angel says PUBG. Pick a Wub says Minecraft. Um, Minecraft? Really? You want to play Minecraft? Tobias says do you have For Honor, which is a great game. Oh, that game is good. I remember trying the beta. Uh, Hasnain says, dude, can you please tell us about the speakers of that model? How, yes. How dare you? Oh. Two speakers. Tanash says play Far, Far Cry 5. Then we have some cod. Some, uh, not the fish. I love codfish. Okay, well, that's a lot of games for one night, GTA. but I'll try to get through as many of them as possible, or at least what I have on my Steam library. Do you guys want to try Battlefield 1? Is that something you're interested in? I haven't played that in a while. Anyways, I'll play what I can. You know, as long as whoever's in the Twitch stream that night, if I have the game, I'll do my best to play it. But I'll, I'll play all the standard stuff that most people play today anyways. So. Why are less says, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, buddy? Thank uh, you for joining the stream. Tom Tech just uh, posted the link for the your Discord Thank channel. you, Tom. I appreciate it, buddy. Tom the Tech Savage. Um, that's, what every call, that's what everyone calls Tom in high school. We're going to do Savage. screen stuff now. So if anyone has questions about brightness and all that kind of stuff, it's coming right up. Yes, we're going to do the test right now while I'm answering your questions. How many people in the stream right now, Ash? Let's let everybody know what's going on here. It's like three people. Three people in the stream. Thank you, all three of you. One uh, of them is probably my own computer. Can it run Crisis? <laughs> Not answering that. Uh, 307 people currently. Cool. Okay. Test the speakers, Tom. Uh, okay, in the meantime, let's test the speakers. He wants you to dance and rap at the same oh time. My God. Okay. All right, I'll rap. How about that? I'll rap today. I'm going to do some dad rap. Uh, take some selfies, test webcam. All the standard stuff. Basically, why should people buy this laptop over all the other ones that are pretty similar? Based on, so far, portability, hands down. But we got to test everything first to make sure it's worth it, right? That, that's the whole point of this live stream. Uh, Swyam says, uh, what's the touchpad like? He says, by the way, you're clicking. It looks like it's pretty good. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. I don't have any complaints. It's better than um, some of the other touchpads I've been using. It's, yeah, it's fine. I have no complaints. It's not as nice as like, you know, expensive glass touchpad. It's plastic, but it's good. It's fine. All right, let's just play anything here. I don't know what this Jack is. Bobby spamming says hi. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Speaker test. Don't know what song this is. I apologize if it's something you don't like. Well, that was amazing. It's coming. It's queuing. Here it goes. And go. Can I don't hear anything. Song? I don't know if I can rap to this. This is the loudest it goes. Oh. Oh, <gasps> it's, the speakers are not that great. Nope. Go and. The speakers are not that great on the MSI laptop. I wish they had a better placement so I can not be in my basement. My raps are terrible, but I'm here anyways. I'm trying the best to rhyme on this Friday near Saturday stairs. I oh, sorry. Okay, I fail. Forget. Okay. All right. So I don't know what he was saying, but he agreed with me. Yes, Amara. He basically says that uh, the speakers here, they have really high highs, but they don't lack any balance. They're not. They're not like full. Very tinny, and that's because the speakers are on the bottom, but they do get fairly loud because the speakers are under over here. So they're okay, they're fine, they're fine. They're like standard laptop gaming speakers. Uh, Temper Doyle says, hey, nice to see you again, Matt. Thank you for your great work. Is the 1050 Ti good enough for the latest games? Yes, uh, you can play the latest games comfortably between, most of them you'd be playing at medium settings. So around medium is probably where you're gonna be. For most games. Great. Um, yeah. Yeah, Janik says that was racist towards Indians. So well I wasn't racist. If I was racist towards Indians, Ash wouldn't be working here. Okay? Um, people would have wanted you to dance. Uh, does it have HDMI 2.0? Yes. HDMI 2.0. Uh, 
If you're going to wrap, just wrap up the jean shorts and put them in storage for you. <laughs> I, this BLR person is the best person ever. Joined the stream last week and is the best jokes, hands down. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Aqua, the spider thing is the screen calibration tool. It's, um, I'd say it's fairly mid tier. Yeah, it's not like the best idea. one. There's better ones out there, but. Do you mind? I'm talking. It, sorry, Ash. I mean to keep cutting you Jeez. off. I apologize. It's all right. I'm the worst. Uh, could you zoom? Uh, what's the power button? Can you just bring the laptop closer to the, the camera so people can see the, the power button? Um, that was from someone. I can't. The question's gone now. It's right here. It kind of indents in. You have to push it inwards. It's fine. Uh, Hikari says, what's your favorite laptop brand so far? Oh, man. That's a tough question because it, it changes every year. Three, I, two, one. Uh, do it. The Dell. There you go. Dell. Dell? Dell? No, not Dell. Maybe. Too um, like you said, Dell. That's what your gut said. I don't know. Dell? I, actually, you know what? Usually, I've been pretty impressed with Acer this year. Yo, we have Donald Trump in the house. Donald T. He says hello from the White House. He's probably going to put trade war stuff on the stream charges canadians all right here we go um this is gonna smiling be smiling assassin says hey matthew you, you reviewed the helios 300 144 hertz what is the heat management like while streaming so it's gonna Super be a specific it's question. gonna be the same as it is gaming for long periods of time it's gonna get hot you got to keep the fans on max if you don't it's gonna go above 90 degrees celsius and even then like you'll st it'll still push above it and you are going to get some thermal throttling, but this is normal for gaming laptops. The problem is everyone today wants a gaming laptop that doesn't produce any heat and has perfect um, perfect uh, CPU response. Like, that's just not happening. It's just not happening. So do you want to explain exactly what people are seeing on the screen and what that means? Okay, so right now, basically, the calibration tool is going between a bunch of different colors to determine what the accuracy of that color is to whatever is in its database. So, and it measures it to figure out exactly how it compares to that specific spectrum we're trying to find out. When so if you're calibrating towards, uh, let's say, sRGB, which is the standard for web, uh, it will match its whites, its grays, its red, its yellows to what it should be. And yeah, like a library, right? It'll account for that offset and then make an ICC profile, which you'll load onto your screen. There you go. Um, Better Hedy explain says, it's 3.30 a.m. in Bangladesh, and I am watching you. Good. Well, thank you, and I appreciate you for staying. Good. Well, I don't mean <laughs> I appreciate you for staying up late. Um, if you want to go to bed, please do. This will be up in the morning anyways when you wake up, but I do appreciate you being here with us. Uh, Smiley in the sense says, thank you for answering this question. Uh, Monway says, coming to Canada in a few days. Cool. Well, uh, welcome to Canada. This will be your first you time Matt's here. I address if you want. Just stand outside his house. <laughs> and if you, give my, if you give me my address, I'll invite you in for a dinner. Yeah, people want you to run some benchmarks. Um, so Casey Montree says, hey, Matt, what is your viewpoint on the pineapple pizza? I think it's a crime against humanity, but that's just his opinion. So, look, I used to be against it, too, as a fellow Canadian, because this is a Canadian thing, pineapple pizza. Um, I used to hate it. I don't mind it now, but it's definitely not, like, one of the best pizza toppings to have on your pizza. It doesn't taste bad. It's just, it's different. Guru Murthy, no Thunderbolt 3. No. Based on Adit's checkup for us during this live stream, there is no Thunderbolt 3. So it's just typical USB type C. Bloodstorm says, how's the H, uh, my bad. How is a G7 in heat management? It's pretty good. It's actually one of the better ones out of all the, the bigger laptops. Remember, that's using a Max Q 1060. So it's expected to have better heat. But um, yeah, it does, it does fairly better than the Helios 300. Not by much, but it does better. John follows up, says, hey, Matthew, you reviewed the Helios 500. Would you recommend waiting for like Black Friday or something to buy it due to the new generation GPU and CPU being announced shortly? Um, so the good thing about Acer is every time there's a holiday, they have great sales. Um, if you look online right now, if you're in the US, um, on Amazon, the Helios 500 starts at 2000. But if you live by a micro center in the US, apparently that's a big box store, you can get it for 1699. And if you can find it for $16.99, that is a steal. Go buy it now. Tell them Matt Mona sent you. Loe says, I like your live streaming videos. You should thank Ash for coming up with this idea. Did you You'd just make that up? Nothing without him. Oh my God, you totally just made that up. Oh, you said the first part. Was that even the person's real name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't believe you. It's right there, Loe Matt. Look at this guy just plugging him. Shameless promotion, people. This is what it looks like. It's right there. <laughs> um, uh, Windows Precision Drivers? 
Yes. I haven't checked yet, but yes, there will be Windows Precision Drivers. I'm quite confident that this has Precision Drivers. Based on my first HD says he wants to shave your beard. Come over and shave my beard. I'll let you do it. It'll be like a... <laughs> he actually said, Ken, um, he wants us to shave our beards, which is never... Don't come near me, Zmad. Don't you dare. Uh, Hasnain says, respect from Pakistan. Hikari says, Minesweeper in 4K. Uh, Ahsan says, what are the current temps on this bad boy? So ideal temps, I guess, after this? Yeah, we're going to do ideal temps after this. But again, it's already uh, 4.45, so I don't know how much time we're going to allow this to run to get a good idea. If you want to see proper temperatures, you're going to have to come on my Twitch stream on Sunday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time, link in the below. Or below. you could join Discord. I'm sure, do you post screenshots of stuff? Yeah, I know? mean, I will. St if you guys want to post screenshots on Discord, I could start doing that too, but I mean... Twitch is where it's at for like live temperature readings, you know, because I'm actually gaming on it. But if you can't make it. Yes. If you can't make it, Discord will have a full follow up. And if I forget, you can harass me and I'll, and I'll definitely show it to you. Yeah. So Loe follows up, says, can you do live streaming re regularly? I would love to. Honestly, if there was, if, if everyone was cool on my channel about doing live streaming every day, I would totally stop just doing regular on reviews. Just be on 24-7. I'd be like the new Justin TV, right? Yeah. I'd just be on 24-7. You'd be just, yeah, I'd sit here with no shirt on. But at the moment, it's every Friday. Yeah, at the moment. For this kind of stuff. And then he does some some rubbish on his own on Sunday. <laughs> That's Ash's way of saying, thank you for not inviting me to game on Sundays. Uh, Louis says, can you open the laptop all the way to make it flat to the table? No, you cannot. This is the, far, this is the furthest back it'll go right now. Thank you, BLR. You can, with your gratitude and your appreciation, you can pronounce my last name wrong anytime you want. But seriously, you, honestly, you don't have to do this. I appreciate it. You, just you being here is, means more than enough to me. Do you have any plans for mobile live unboxings? Yes, you do. You've done it once, have you? Yeah, I have. I've done it with, um, I've done it with the Huawei P20 Pro, but I did it by myself in a hotel room like a pervert. I did it a long time ago, and it was okay, but I was using my Surface Book 2 screen, but I plan on doing more. Basically, like, he says he wishes he had me, though. That's what you're saying. See, again, he's just shameless promotion. But yeah, I wanted to do an unboxing with this guy, the Note 9, but um, it didn't come in a box, so I couldn't do that. So Bloodstorm has a good question. He says, which laptop would you say is good at managing heat? For gaming laptops, the thicker the better. Helios 500 does a fantastic job at managing heat. What? You know, close the uh, the meter. It will close the meter. Okay, uh, hold on. Here we go. You guys this ready is for this? how he treats the stuff, people. It's terrible. This is exactly the same way I treat Ash. Which is why I don't work here. <laughs> okay, so quick look at calibration mode. So this is the calibrated view. Let me get it closer for you guys. So this is the calibrated view. It's going to be slight, so pay attention. That is the uncalibrated view. It's going to be really hard to see on camera. Calibrated people, but there view. There is a difference. Uncalibrated view. Calibrated view, you get the point. So, in terms of color reproduction, we're okay. looking. Ooh, uh, ooh. Oh, I will. Meh. Meh. Okay, 68% sRGB. So, this is better than the 60 hertz panel on the Omen 15. It's better than the Lenovo Y530. And it's slightly better than the Dell G7. But if you get the 144 hit panel, the Omen 15, you're going to get 95% sRGB. Same with the Helios 300. Adobe RGB, my guess, 51%. So that's pretty standard for this type of panel. So, so next up, idle temps. Wait, before I go to idle temps, do you guys want me to figure out how much bright... You know what? Forget brightness. I'll, I'll show you guys brightness in my full review. So 68 and 51. Okay, quick questions. Uh, Thinnell from Australia says, hey, should other YouTubers review the Sony Xperia XZ2 Premium? Yes, they Yeah, for sure. I don't know why they're not. It's a fantastic phone. I mean, it's huge. It's massive. And it's a good phone. It's a good phone, but like, it's the design, I think, is like very unattractive for a lot of people just because you have, like, even when you're holding the phone like this, because the cameras are so low, your finger covers it. But yes, I think they should review it because the cameras alone are amazing. Okay. So I'm going to butcher this name, but Inan Chesnu? Claudio, maybe? Uh, so bad, sorry. He says, I watch you occasionally. You and your friends seem really awesome. Keep up the good vibes. Thank you, man. We appreciate that. Um, BY, oh, I missed it. It's gone. It's escaped. He says, how much is this a laptop? A thousand bucks. There you go. So just quickly, I'm in the MSI Dragon Center. Um, and these are the different things you can do here. I'm trying to find a light, the light portion. I don't think you can change the lights on this keyboard. I think it's just permanently red. Yeah, it oh, is. Oh, someone a while back 
did ask about what you thought about the new NVIDIA drive, um, GPUs. Well, it's hard for me to think about the new NVIDIA GPUs because they're not out yet. But once they're out, I'll have more of an opinion. But they should be a good boost. If you're talking about the 2000 series, or oh. the 20, 20 series. Oh, how is that Nitro 5 spin doing? It's working. Should we pull it out? Do I have it here? No. Keep, no, I don't have it here. It's in the other room. If it's you want, still working. It's still working, though. It's working fine. Because you guys now. thought I was going to break it, but For it's now. working. Okay, so you can't change the lighting on this thing, unfortunately. So you're basically stuck with red. Um, just like every other gaming laptop, there's tons of bloatware installed. Most of it is from Microsoft, not from MSI. So that's something to keep in mind. So what are the idle temps? Idle temps. Okay, let's load that up. Let's look at idle temps Thank now. Thank you, Tenzin. He says I'm working very hard. Good. At least I'm doing my job. <laughs> well, I'm not doing my job. How long did it take you to open that laptop? Hey, that back <laughs> portion of the laptop was very tricky to get open, okay? <laughs> Captain Apex says, if you had to choose which laptop throw out of a window out of rage, which laptop would it be? The G7, the MSI, the Helios 300, or the Y520? Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. Which one you go in rock and roll on? If I was to whip something out of a... Honestly, I would choose the Helios 500, not because I think it's the worst out. I think it's the best one out of those bunch. It's just because I can really make a dent with it. Like if I was angry at another driver or if I wanted to like smash a window with it, that would be the one I'd use because it's so big. Tobias has a um, good just... question. He says, should my 18 r 4 be okay. discharging its battery under full load? Technically, no, unless um, the GPU and CPU are too powerful for the brick, but it shouldn't be. Is it, is it discharging? Because it shouldn't. Because I know the Microsoft Surface Book has that problem, but it's fine. Like, it's not a big deal. As long as it's not discharging fast enough that it affects uh, performance or gameplay. Actually, since you have a 15R4, is yours overheating too? Because, like, I'm getting tons of comments on the video that I did on the R4 of other people having the same issue of just complete overheating and, and quality control issues. Uh, Demore says, is this made out of plastic? So deck of deck around the keyboard is metal. The top of the lid is metal. You, but the rest is plastic. So slightly more premium feel than the majority of other gaming laptops around this price range. Someone did ask before about the size of the battery. Do you happen to know that? Not yet. I'm gonna check on the website afterwards because the the battery itself inside was taped up, which is kind of unusual. Uh, Demo then follows up and says, "Come on, Ash, stop ignoring good questions. I'm sorry. What am I I'm trying to get to all of them?" Uh, Fusion Harry says, are you in the land of Toronto? Yes, I am. I'm in Toronto, Toronto, Canada, the greatest place on earth. Discord Cruiser says, uh, sorry he missed the specs. What <gasps> graphics card does this laptop have? GTX 1050 Ti Max-Q. Okay, we're going to check out idle temps right now. I apologize for the delay in this. I think next time I'm just going to unbox. Do you guys still want me to do an unboxing for the next laptop or just get right to the point and show you guys everything? I mean, you could put the laptop back in the but box. But I think it ruins the fun. You don't no, see me they, taking the tape off. I can see what's in the box. Yeah, I know, but it's thing. not the same. I have to deal with 25 minutes of you trying to open a laptop. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll be more prepared for the so, next one. Monway says, uh, legit question, no bollocks and no bellen. I've been thinking about this question all day. I'm seeing some... S okay, here we go. Sorry, go on. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> he says, would you rather have... Uh, you know what? Don't worry about it. Let's go. Uh, BYTXBI says, do you know a powerful laptop that looks not so gamer-like for $1,000? This one. This one doesn't look like uh, yeah, so gamer. A little bit. Is MSI, the Y530 doesn't look like a gaming laptop. The black and red's just done. Okay, fine. The Lenovo Y530. There's no red on it whatsoever. It's black with a little bit of white lighting. That's it. Okay, idle temperatures. You guys ready for this? How large did you say the battery was? Because uh, We don't know. I have to check. Uh, he yeah. says it's a 51 watt hour battery for, for F's sake. Really? 51 watt hours and this is supposed to get seven hours? That'll be very interesting. I'm gonna, I doubt it'll get seven What's hours. What's the cheapest 1070 in Canada? I have, oh man, two of your kids, you have to sell your mom. It's a lot of money. It's expensive. For 1070, probably like 600 bucks Canadian. Okay. People still want you to do the unboxing. We got to do the I'm answering your questions. You want oh, feedback? You yes. answer feedback. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we will continue doing the unboxings in that case. Okay. So, uh, can you guys, I'll bring this closer. Uh, okay. Let's read it out. That's fine. Okay. Fine. I'll just read it out because this is a white screen. So basically the average temperature right now is around 41 43 degrees Celsius on idle, which is not too bad. Usually other gaming laptops, I'm seeing around 50 degrees Celsius. So, so far, so good. 
Let's do a quick CPU test to see how it, how it holds up in just like a five minute test to see if there's any like little issues. So I already have it loaded up here. We're gonna run the stability test. So while you do that, Tobias says his uh, 15 R4 gets to 95 briefly during long gaming sessions, but mentions 80s, uh, but the battery discharges slowly with no effect on performance. Cool. Great. Beautiful answer. Sorry, I'm, I, I can't, I, I'm having trouble with multitasking hey, today. Hey, you're a live streamer, this is what they I do. know, I'm the worst, I'm the worst today. Okay, it's starting up. We got the fans kicking in. Vlad said, hey, uh, why did you get so angry over Crisis? <laughs> because everyone asks that question and every single, doesn't matter if the laptop is an iPad, someone will still ask if it can run Crisis. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, so right now we have the test going. Temperatures are spiking up to about 61 degrees or 60 degrees. I'm gonna scroll up here on HWinfo to see if we're getting any, if the boosts are slowing down. So right now we're around 2.5 gigahertz, so it's not boosting up to four gigahertz. So we are getting some lower boost clock speeds. Oh wow, clock speeds are below, clock speeds are well below the minimal clock speed of 2.2. That's not good. Fans are starting to ramp up a little bit. Okay, let's just, let's just go for a few minutes and we'll check it out. So Saki asks, do you, uh, did you ever consider reviewing the HP Open X laptop from 2017? Uh, has RGB mechanical keyboard, enjoying the stream as always. Well, thank you first and foremost for enjoying the stream. I appreciate it. I never got a chance to review it. I wanted to, but I didn't get a chance. The only HP gaming laptop I reviewed last year was the Omen 15. Insan says, do you use a desktop PC? Yes, I use two desktop PCs. If that's something you guys want me to do a review on, not a review on, but showcase, I can do that in an upcoming video. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, Ash, but- You always do. I, I'm, the current CPU speeds with CPU utilization under 100% is 1.5 gigahertz, which is lower than the base clock speed of 2.2. Actually, hold on, let me check something, because this could be just something stupid that I didn't do properly. Battery? Yeah, you know how it's like not on best performance and then... So Minix G says, do you like the Huawei ah. MateBook X Pro and do you think it's viable for eGPU gaming? So good question. I actually, um, so I have the Huawei MateBook X Pro, some of you guys know. I have hooked it up to an external GPU. I do get better speeds, but they kind of clock out between 70 and 80 frames per second on a GTX 1070. I'm trying to figure out why it's doing that. It's not the MateBook X Pro. I think it's because I'm still gaming on the monitor of the MateBook X Pro. From what I understand is you need to game on a separate external monitor for yourself to see um, higher frames per second. Bloodstorm follows up on his previous question. He says, which thin gaming laptop would you say is best at managing heat? The, probably, okay, is there a price point for you? Are you talking about any gaming laptop? Because I know the Asus Zephyrus um, M does a pretty good job with heat and it's a pretty thin gaming laptop. From what I understand, the Razer Blade 15 also does a good job with heat. I actually have one coming in, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, Vlad follows up his crisis question. He's like, okay, but can it though? Vlad, Vlad, <laughs> Vlad, don't make me mad. James Levi, uh, no, it does not have Thunderbolt. No, uh, it doesn't. Asan says, thank you for answering uh, the idle temps. No problem. So, I don't know if you guys can hear, the fans are on right now. I'm gonna see if this is Max fan. Uh, Z Mad says, can we just have Ash host the rest of the live stream? Z Mad, I thought we were friends. I thought we had something here, you um, know? Monway says, how well does it run PUBG, but you'll be doing gaming tests on yeah. Sunday? Sunday gaming tests, 9 p.m. on Twitch. Be there. If be not, square. then just uh, watch out for the full review. Exactly. Um, Vlad follows up, says, I do not know why, but you remind me of Linus. Really? Well, I don't wear flip-flops. Flip I'm also like 400 pounds heavier than him. Um, yeah, he's all muscle. I wouldn't say he's muscle. I wouldn't say he's muscle. Uh, he's pretty ripped. Uh, I've seen it. Uh, um, in sense, is what laptop do you use as your daily driver? I use, okay, so mostly I use desktop PCs, but if I'm traveling, I usually use a Surface Book 2 just because it's great battery life and I still have the performance. Okay, hold on. Do you hear that, guys? This is the fans on max. Okay, hold on, they're ramping up. 
Okay, so it's not as loud as the Dell G7. Here's a decibel meter. Just uh, while you do that, Saman says it's 12 a.m., so he's going. Ways at you. I'll do it like this. Good night, buddy. Thank you for being here. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the decibel meter. Uh, I'm trying to get no glare. Just read it out. Okay, hold on. No one speak for a second. Shh. Quiet. Lancer Furry. Quiet. Vlad. Quiet for one second, please. So we're getting about 55 decibels on the fans being ramped up to max speed. Um, it's loud. I can notice it. I'm sure you guys can hear it. Not as loud as the G7 or the Predator Helios 300, but it is noticeable. I'm just going to go back here and check out the clock speed. So the clock speeds are still at 1.5, which is, has me kind of concerned. So for some reason they're being um, thermal throttled or throttled below the actual clock, below the actual base clock of this entire system. So that's kind of interesting. Temperatures are good though. We're looking at 64 to 65 degrees, but again, this is because those clock speeds are very low. So I gotta investigate that. What's causing this to keep the clock speeds low? Abdullah asks, uh, hey Matt, my MSI GE60 reaches almost 100 degrees whilst gaming. Do you recommend that I liquid cool it? Honestly, I don't like to recommend people liquid cool stuff because I don't want them to go in, into the computer, open it up, and then kind of... Well, basically follow your instructions? No, my instructions are the best. Okay, terrible. and then break their computer, okay? But if you have the experience doing it, it could help. It doesn't necessarily always work. There's a great guy in my Discord. His name is Balke Balkeet. He, he, usually, he loves laptops. And what he does usually is he'll turn off turbo boosts first. And then if that doesn't make a difference, then he'll do the second thing, which is undervolt. And if undervolting doesn't work, then he'll open up the laptop, then apply the thermal paste in order to try to reduce heat that way. So I would do that as the third option. Because quite frankly, if you're gaming, your computer is most likely only using two cores. And, you, and gaming's never been dependent on really crazy core speeds. It's always been dependent on the GPU. So turn off the boosts first. That doesn't work. Then undervolt then repaste. Hamza says, don't know why fans bother people so much. It's music to his ears. <laughs> it means your laptop is working. Uh, Tom Tech says, no, I will not be quiet. Monway says he has a 10-hour flight over to Vancouver from Gatwick. Can you pray for him, please? I will pray for you, but you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Don't you worry. Vancouver is an amazing place. Oh, so good. Yeah, I'd rather be there. Thanks, Ash. Uh, Mel, Meli says, is there a high refresh, refresh rate monitor option for this laptop? Um, if you were to buy a high refresh rate monitor for this laptop, honestly, it wouldn't be worth it. No, I imagine he's asking, is there a version available? Oh, no. I think this is this is a budget entry level model, so you're stuck with 60 hertz. If you want something with a higher refresh rate, you're going to have to look into uh, the GS65 or one of their more expensive laptops. Paul Swart is asking, when are we treated with some RGB disco? RGB disco. That's what I'm looking at right now. There's some MSI RGB. So let's see here. Movie. What's the difference? Uh, Swapnil says, restart IDA64 in high performance mode to begin with. Sorry? Uh, Swapnil says, restart IDA64 in high performance mode to begin with. Well, it is in high perf. Oh, you mean like the actual laptop. Right. Okay, let's try doing that. Okay, so now it's boosting back up to 4 gigahertz. So I'm going to make sure it's still in high performance mode. It is. Now I'm going to reload IDA64. Let's see what happens. So it's still boosting. It's still boosting. So you guys can see that. No one can complain with that. We don't. Now do it's dropping. Now we're at 2.9. Now it's back to 1.5. See, that's interesting. This laptop is proactively reducing the CPU speeds below base clock when CPU utilization goes to 100%. Okay, hold on, it's boosting back up a little bit. We're at 1600 now. But still, like that's not even base clock speed. See, that kind of has me concerned. I'm gonna check out the profiles. Maybe there's a profile that's set right now that's causing this to go below base clock. So let me check that out. AZTMAH says, this thing has thin bezels. It does have thin bezels apart from the bottom Yeah, one. bottom is thicker. Sides are pretty thin. I mean, this is a four pound laptop, so it's pretty thin overall. Loe uh, asks, did you build your desktop PC? 
Yes, every desktop PC that I own, I built. Um, when I'm using an AMD Ryzen 1700X, the other desktop PC is still using a 7700K. 1050 Ti in one PC for GPU. The other one's using an AMD Vega 64 liquid cool GPU, which is like a between a 1080 and a 1080 Ti. Sam Y says, uh, I li really like your reviews, man. One of the best. Thumbs up. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. So I think that, I mean, I think we've pretty much covered everything we usually cover on a live stream. I mean, is there any more questions before uh, I call this live stream a quit? Do you want to do like a lightning round? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I can ask you whatever's coming up. Sure. Uh, is it still worth it to get the GS63 with the 1060 and 7700 HQ now? If you can get it for a good price, like listen, if, if you're gaming, I'm gonna turn this off because this is getting loud. If you're gaming, and you can get a good deal on a 7700K from last year, and the heat management has been reviewed to be good, then you're not going to see that much of a performance increase compared to this year's 8th gen processors. The only benefit you get from the 8th gen processors is when you're doing content creation to utilize those extra cores, or if you're streaming at the same time while you're gaming. That's it. But for strictly gaming, you could get good deals from last year. Okay, I'm going to close this. So, uh, do you want to tell people what your overall thoughts and impressions are of this so, so far? Okay, so overall, my, my impressions of this so far is I love Before the songs. Before you do that, do you want to turn it's it It's shutting down. Look, see? Just throw it out the window. So <laughs> Okay, so here are my overall impressions of this laptop so far. This is a $1,000 budget gaming laptop. Hands down, the size is the best compared to every other budget to mid-tier gaming laptop I've reviewed in the past little while. I still have to determine how performance is like. I'm going to put this over here because it's very loud. I still have to determine how performance is on this thing, but the only thing that I'm concerned about right now is the base clock speeds. Why is that happening? So i got to play with that. But um, I think for a 1000 bucks, it could be a good contender for someone who's looking for something that's very portable. Okay, trying to look back at these questions. Uh, what is your favorite budget thin and light laptop for more schoolwork and light gaming? Asks Bloodstorm. Oh man, more schoolwork, light gaming. So then you're gonna want to pick up. So um, you want to pick up something like the Dell XPS 15, the Asus ZenBook Pro, or my favorite, the Surface Book 2. Next. Do you edit your own videos? Yes, or sometimes Ash does. It depends if he's in the studio or not. How does this compare to Nintendo Switch? I uh, it's Nintendo Switch is Nintendo Switch. It's a totally different category. So it's I don't know. I personally I'd rather have a laptop than a Nintendo Switch. Next. Would you consider looking at the Dell G3 for comparison with other cheap laptops like the 2018 Nitro 5? Yes, I'm trying to get my hands on one. Hopefully soon. Stay tuned. Subscribed if you haven't already. Twitch on Sundays. And Next. That was our shattered legacies. Tom Tech asks, uh, "How's your wife?" Wife is good. Kind That's the second time today you've asked about my wife, Tom. I'm getting concerned now. That's getting very, very concerned. Uh, Captain Apex says, what is your daily driver laptop for gaming? Laptop for gaming is Helios 500, if I'm not going too far. But if I am going too far, I'll just carry a Surface Book 2. Harjun says, so the Dell G7 is still the best, huh? N I don't think it's the best. I think it's a good balance, but I don't think it's the best. Uh, Swapnil says, clock speeds suck. Anyways, keep up the good work. Love the. Uh, thank love you, the thank you, thank you, good sir. Um, uh, Vlad says, at what time zone will your Sunday live stream be? 9 p.m. Eastern time. That's GMT off. Oh, Just EST, four? EST. Yeah, 9 p.m. EST, North America. I think it's GMT 400 or 4. I don't know. One of those GMTs. Uh, okay. Uh, Safa asks, uh, Acer Predator Helios 300 or Asus Strix? I haven't reviewed the Strix yet, but I heard good things about it. So I'm going to reserve my comment for that after I review it. Uh, Minix says, do you have friends? Nope. Just myself, and Ash says he's my friend, but I don't believe him. No, I hate Matt. <laughs> um, right. Um, best, uh, that's Slajan, maybe? Uh, okay. Asks, what is the best budget laptop under $500? An Xbox. Can you get an Xbox for $500? Yeah, an Xbox. Uh, you're not going to get... you get a PS4 anyways. Budget. Oh, best budget laptop. You're looking at Chromebooks. Chromebooks. Yeah, Chromebooks. Uh, Lance, Lancelot Fury says, are you going to review the new Zephyrus S? If I can get my hands on it, yes. I'll be reviewing the S. Um, Alessandro, uh, Johnny, greetings from Brazil. Love your channel. Thank you for greetings from Brazil. Paul Cotton says, what about the Note 9 battery? Okay, so this is totally off topic. So, so far the battery life has been pretty good. Not as good as the Huawei P20 Pro, but I am getting a full day with a little bit left. Um, but I don't think it's as good as everyone's making it out to be. But it's, it's good. Definitely much better than the Note 8, that's for sure. Um, a name that doesn't have English characters says, Hey guys, uh, what can you say about MSI GP638RE with the 1060? I can't say anything. I've never reviewed it. Next question. 
Sorry about that. That's okay. BY. I wasn't telling you. But oh, right. the other person. Sorry. <laughs> BYTXBI <laughs> says, thanks for answering my questions. Awesome stream. Love the live unboxing. Uh, Can you pass the laptop? I'm going to start screwing it in while I answer these questions. Thank sure. you. Sure. Uh, vegan Hardware, love the name, says Toronto or Vancouver. Ooh, t Vancouver. Vancouver, for sure. Uh, no, if you're gonna if you if you're gonna live and work, okay. If, if you if you just want to live, Vancouver. If you're gonna work, Toronto. Uh, Alpha Reed says good for entry level programming. I'm assuming he's still. Yeah, for sure. This is fa totally fine for entry level programming. This will eat through it. Uh, Incense says Swift three versus Aspire E fifteen. Oh, okay, so if you need a DVD ROM and a VGA port, then get the Aspire E15. If not, get the Acer Swift 3. You're going to be paying a little bit more, but yeah. Lemon Doom. Uh, how many Pokemon has Ash caught? How many? Uh, how many have you caught, Ash? I don't know. You should know. Ash has caught probably 10. Well, that's terrible. You know nothing about me. I'm quite ashamed. <laughs> well, um, how much have you caught? Jonathan. Oh, I lost the question. Damn it. Uh, Javin... Von Cannon says, should he stick to Intel or make the switch to AMD for 4K video in Adobe Premiere? So that's a good question. Um, both myself and Ash use AMD primarily. I, I also use Intel at home. Um, we always kind of like the grass greener on the other side. We've had like no problems in terms of errors when it comes to editing video. At least he hasn't. Yeah, I'd, I'd say overall my experience with AMD has been a lot more stable. Yeah. The only thing that I prefer about Intel over AMD is the fact that you get that hardware acceleration that they introduced in a previous version of, of which Premiere. Which is helpful if you're working in H.264, otherwise it yeah, really matter. which is what most people are working in anyways, at least YouTubers, right? Uh, Wolfman says, is the razor blade worth it? Oh man, I, I'm, I'm gonna be reviewing it soon, so I'm gonna reserve my judgment for that, but um, it's a nice, it looks like a beautiful laptop. Amza says, thank you for everything. Uh, both of you keep up the good work. Well, thank you for being here. That's more important. Bay Manning says, you look like Diego Costa. Anyone else tell you? He does look like Diego I've Costa. I've gotten that a lot. I get Diego Costa. That dude. Diego I don't know. Costa is one ugly dude, though. Well, thank you. Thank you for that wonderful compliment. The Real Shohan says, do you recommend a pre built PC? Um, not anymore. If it was like six months ago, I'd say yes, just because GPU prices were so high and pre-builds could get you better deals just because these companies are ordering them in bulk. But now you could probably build a PC for cheaper. Fortnite or PUBG from Captain Apex. PUBG, man. All the way. Fortnite is like a game for kids with ADD. Seriously. Come on. Monway we gotta get PUBG says, back. how does Vancouver climate compare to UK climate? I honestly, they're pretty much like for like, there isn't much different. I think it, it, it rains more in Vancouver, surprisingly. Does it? Yeah. Um, but you know, it's here and there. Um, okay. Mm, Rened Red says, what's the best 1000, I'm assuming dollar computer for school and high intensive playing sessions? $1,000 laptop for school? I don't have FAQ, then I can just be like, refer to the FAQ. That's all I say, refer to the FAQ. It's the FAQ. FAQ, well, but it's the same thing. If no, you say it fast. You don't say FAQ. <laughs> Sound like a, an Irish fan swearing. Oh, yeah, it's fair to the thing, you know. It's great. Just go to the FAQ, you'll find it right there. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for questions, right? BLR. Matthew, if you sponsor my visa, I'll move to Toronto and be your naughty little secret. Well, I am actually considering it, so you've been so kind. And, Lemon uh, Doom quickly says, what do you do with those phones you dunked in the pool? I basically make a little graveyard for it. I, I place it beside my hamster pet that I used to have, and I say goodbye to them. That's it. No, I actually, funny enough, I actually sent one to one of my Discord members. He tried to get repaired, but didn't have luck. Um, two of them have started working again. The iPhone 10 is still dead, which is the one I wanted to work because it's that rubbish. one I paid for. But um, yeah, mostly I try to get them to work and that's it. So anyways. Uh, Insan, I'm from London. Um, okay, so are we done? That's it. I think we're done. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for joining this live stream. I appreciate you guys being oh, here. Jonathan, if you want to get your question in again, Feel free. Just so many questions are coming in. Yeah, so. Jonathan, if you if it's that important, buddy, hop on Discord. I'll answer it when I have when I have a moment. That's what Discord is for. Is to talk to you guys all the time. Okay, I don't sleep for you. But anyways, thank you again for being this live stream. We're doing it every Friday, 4 p.m. Discord server in the description down below. This Friday, we're going to be streaming from this laptop, the MSI GF638RD. But thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Good? Rough? No, I'm just waiting. What to do see you mean? It. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs>